你们好。你是外国人。大家好。我不外国人。我 ，no， 我是中国人。My name is Justin Corse. I'm the CEO of North American and European Markets for Zigong Lantern Group. I have a Chinese wife from Chongqing Dazhou, and I'm very lucky to have a loving and warm Chinese family who care about me very much. Recently, I've been living in China for five to six months per year, and the deepest impression that I had. Was when I realized that China was much different than what was being portrayed on Western TV and YouTube channels. Since my wife and I are very interested in Chinese culture, we brought Chinese Lantern Festivals to America, where we share stories, knowledge, and history of Chinese culture to average Americans. I was also impacted during my latest visit during COVID-19 of this year. I was in China for almost six months, living with my Chinese family. During that time, I was there during the very beginning stage of COVID-19, and I saw everything. I got really concerned with Western media using this pandemic to negatively portray China around the world, and I got so concerned that I ended up creating my very first vlog series about real life in China during the coronavirus. Four or five days ago, it was voluntary, and now. This coronavirus restriction is getting really, really serious. This week, all those barricades were completely removed. Okay, so what that means? I know China handled this situation very well, so I continued to post these videos on YouTube to show Westerners the truth. Yes, we created a petition on Change.org to reduce hate speech against Chinese people. I know. They are good people, and they do not deserve the slander and lies on social media. Nothing in the world is the exact same. We all need to accept and respect differences and work hard toward building common ground together. I'm very optimistic about the future between China and America. I know a lot of vloggers are using this situation as a means to attract a lot of attention by spinning doubt and conspiracy theories. But I can assure you that after the election is over, our relationship will advance into positive territory again. Everyone needs to understand that the two world's largest economies need to cooperate. Because if there is no solid cooperation, it becomes a global issue. It's not just about China and America during this situation. It's a global crisis. Cooperation between China and America is a win-win for everyone.